everyone, my name is Mara and in today's video I'm going to show you how I uh, spring cleaned my guinea pigs spade, my guinea pigs cages, however you want to put it. Um, what happened is I wanted to give some of my guinea pigs more space, I wanted to... <laughs> sorry I don't know what she was doing... I wanted to change their space a little bit and so what I did is I modified the cages that were here as this cage was a little bit bigger, it had another attachment <laughs> close to it and there was also another cage in the back, uh, behind the camera and uh, yeah, I took four guinea pigs and I moved them in my sewing room so now I have a smaller cage here and a cage of the exact same size as this one in that room. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you some clips of how this cage and this room used to look. And then I'm going to show you the process I went through to modify this cage and build the other cage. So yeah, let's go! So uh, in this clip you can see how my room used to look like the room where I have my guinea pigs. Please excuse how dirty the cages were, but yeah, I, I just was realistic and I filmed it just before I cleaned and modified it. I didn't clean it prior to me doing the video. That's what the cages used to look like. As you can see, I had a double stacked 5x2 and two 2x4 cages. So this is the sewing room. Uh, the first thing I did is I added some linoleum on the floor. As you can see the shell of the cage was already built because I was excited when I received the grids and I did not have the patience to wait to film. I just wanted to build the shell of the cage. Here I was preparing the linoleum, putting the cage back in place, uh, zip tying it, everything that needed to be done <laughs> to build the CNC cage. I also added uh, these two little levels to the cages. So I mean one on each cage because my guinea pigs, especially the ones that I moved to this room, um, really love <laughs> those second levels. They really like sleeping on them. The next step that I needed to do was to make them some kitchen areas. And as I said from the first clip, I first took the photoplast outside, but then it started raining and I hurried to take my camera back inside because I didn't want it to get wet. So what I was doing one of the kitchens, I didn't film me doing all four of them because that would have been one long and boring clip <laughs> of me doing the same, same thing four times. So I just filmed doing one. I just cut it, bended it, and I also taped each and every edge so that I would be sure that the guinea pigs, first of all, wouldn't cut themselves in the sharp edges, but also that no hay and poops would get behind the walls. I also like my cages to have uh, LEDs. Um, I didn't have a normal LED strip, so, a strip, so I just used Christmas light and here is decorating the cage, decorating, adding uh, all of the place and stuff that we need, some bedding, some hay and now the first two inhabitants of the new cage are going in, this is Iris and this is Bujor and they are both two years old and yeah, they really liked the new space, this was their first reaction, they were a little bit uh, spooked because uh, they are mm, some of my 
more shy guinea pigs <laughs> and they were shocked by the new space and uh, here I was destroying their old cage uh, it was one of the 2x4 cages and uh, here I took the rest of the piggies out and I started modifying this cage the first step was to take the 2x4 piece out and then of course clean everything, vacuum this process took <laughs> a couple of days to complete it, it was a bit complicated What I did, I wanted to completely uh, switch out the linoleum that was on the floor so I threw the old one away and I also added a fresh piece of linoleum here and here you can see me wiping the walls because yeah, guinea pig pee got on the walls so they needed <laughs> a bit of a clean here is the new linoleum and the new cage is ready so next I'm going to show you some before pictures This is how the cage used to look like And the room, how the room used to look like And here is the after The cage is much smaller But it's enough for how many guinea pigs I have There are two boys on the top Zoro and Kambo and three girls on the bottom which you can't see because they are skittish and they hide away and now the other cage in my sewing room where I have my four curly boys they really like the, their space they got the space upgrade and yeah here they are begging <laughs> so cute Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like how the cages look now. Uh, my guinea pigs are sure happy with their new space, especially the ones that got a little space upgrade. And yes, uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and also to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my guinea pigs in the future. Bye!